Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for the week of April 8th through the 12th. So let's just jump right in and see what love messages we get for you. So we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. You could be having some sort of intuitive feelings about something here. I feel like you have a connection with somebody and it's going to move in a very specific direction. I feel like a new cycle in love is going to begin. Um, and I think you have a clear sense of why something is stuck. Because I feel like there's something that's stagnant. Um, but it, this is kind of like the calm before the storm. So there will be a very big change, a very big uh, new cycle, a new beginning that's going to be happening in this relationship soon. But right now, there is some sort of stagnancy, and I feel like you have an intuitive sense as to what this is. So let's see. We have the Emperor, the Six of Swords, the Hanged One, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the World. With the world and the six of swords, I feel like you're moving on to bigger and better things when it comes to your life in general. But with love, this is also this this is also true. I feel like you're moving forward in a you know relationship that is kind of opening up a lot of doors. I feel like you're experiencing new things. You're seeing love in a new way. I feel like you could have moved and after moving and after you know, kind of making a decision to better your life, you kind of met someone in that same journey. So this to me is kind of like the love that came from um, you deciding to go after um, something here. Excuse the background noise, there's a dog eating food. And he just started as this reading began. So um, I will say that this new beginning is, is definitely, definitely, something that happened when you chose to move away from your comfort zone, move away from your home and, and go towards uh, a new land to take a new opportunity here. With the Queen of Cups and the Emperor, I feel like this is you and your person. I feel like you're both determined to do something here. I feel like you are very much focused on your career, focused on your success. You're focused on getting things done, being intentional. Um, I feel like you have a very good idea of you know what the next five years are going to look like for you as far as your goals your vision your future and i feel like your person is really just there by your side also doing their thing but really trying to add more love into your life so i feel like you're attracting someone that's very very sweet very loving someone that is emotional um you know very in tune with their emotions um they could even be teaching you about yourself, you know, in, in a way, maybe you're learning about yourself because of this relationship. So it's a relationship that's coming from growth and also is allowing you to grow as well. With the hanged one and the six of wands, um, I feel like there's going to be success coming very soon. Something good is going to happen, but right now it seems stagnant. It's almost like this is happening behind the scenes, but I do feel that you have a very good idea of what is going on. Uh, but there is going to be a big upheaval of success and abundance coming um, after this period of stagnancy. We also have the star and the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So to me, this is also saying that this new beginning is also coming in with a lot of support. I feel like you could also be thinking about, you know, your family and um, I feel like this is somebody that you want to introduce to your family. Maybe this is somebody that you know, you don't mind them getting close because you know that this is going to last. So there's a very positive, beautiful energy surrounding this relationship. Um, so I, I, to me, this is kind of what I'm getting. It's like this is the type of person that you don't mind bringing home to your parents. This is the type of person that you feel proud to say, yeah, I'm with this person. So we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is you, Virgo. I feel like you are here as the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you've got things under control. I feel like you are um, financially independent. I feel like you could be a mother as well. You could be the head of household. I just feel like you have so much um, going for you and you are very successful um, in your line of work, in your personal, you know, and uh, ventures. You could be going to school. You could be, you know, a professional. 
you could be a, a, a stay-at-home mom. I just feel like you're very good at what you do, no matter what that is. And so the person that you're, you know, allowing into your life, they kind of have to see that. They have to value that. And they have to add to that experience as well. I feel like you're looking and attracting somebody here that matches that about you. We also have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you've attracted a very good opportunity here for yourself. Um, and I think this is an opportunity that you're not going to, you know, even blink an eye to go after. I feel like you're going after this. And I think it's going to come with a lot of, you know, personal fulfillment. I think you're going to find your purpose here uh, with this new offer, this new opportunity, if you haven't already. Um, and if you've already found your purpose, and this is only just adding to that. This is kind of validating what you're out here to do and the things that you've done to get to this point. So I really feel like this is a full circle reading where it's like, Yes, in love, you are attracting someone that is kind of a part of your world. In fact, I would say this reading is saying that love is just a small piece of how big things are becoming in your life and how much there is positive change. It's almost like the love is just a, a percentage of, you know, the amount of blessings and abundance that you're receiving, Virgo. I really think that you are entering a time of your life where everything just really starts to grow and magnify 10 times. You know, it's almost like your your really um, the quality of your relationships the quality of your career the quality of the things that you do for yourself the quality of your own perspective um, is really increasing so much and just everything is kind of feeding off of each other so you know the fact that you're doing well in your career the fact that you're doing well you know health wise um, that's really allowing for these relationships to also improve and blossom and i really think you're able to give to certain things because you don't have to worry about finances and, and stability and stuff like that so i really like um how full circle this is it's like all encompassing um so we do have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like you also are entering a time of in like incredible self-awareness and it's really showing off in the way that you're communicating with your person um i feel like you're not hesitating to let them know what you've been through I don't think you hesitate to tell them about your past. If anything, I think it's important for you to tell them what you've been through so that they understand you and they understand why it is that you do what you do or why it is that you act the way you do. We have the devil, the knight of wands, and the eight of cups. I feel like in the past, you could have had a very, very uh, toxic relationship with somebody here and you walked away from them, but it didn't, you know, it didn't really leave you without some sort of, you know, uh, emotional scar. So I really think the situation that you walked away from, there was a lot going on in that. And I think that's something that you still think about uh, when in when you think about your current relationship. There's a lot of things you don't want to relive. You don't want to experience that again. Um, it could have been with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or really you're just attracting somebody that has a lot of desire to know you, to know those things about you. I feel like this person wants to know your history. They want to know what you've been through because it really will add to the whole story and you know of you kind of going from a place of not knowing to suddenly finding your way being successful getting everything that you want and now love is kind of like taking you know over in that way where it's like they're they're seeing you from where you were where you are and they want to understand more so i think this is saying virgo that you need to be you know, uh, open to, to attracting somebody here that is willing to listen to you. I feel like they're coming at you with open arms. Um, to me, the Knight of Wands is like the person that's coming towards somebody just with all of this passion and desire. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like this is saying you're communicating, you're telling them how you feel, you're telling them what you've been through. They know your history. And because they know your history, they understand you and they can kind of see why it is that you are so dedicated, why it is that you are so ambitious. We also have the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, and Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. To me, this is confirmation. Confirmation that even though you've been through some tough times in the past, even though your relationships have left you with certain feelings and emotions about others and about yourselves, you are still at the top here because you've been able to manifest new love that is presenting itself as a part of of the rewards that you get for doing the work, Virgo. This is a part of the many blessings and abundance that you are receiving for your dedication to yourself, for your dedication to the things that you wanna do. Um, this is the ultimate full circle reading because I really think that love 
is kind of the last piece where everything just kind of connects and you start to see yourself, you know, and you're like, wow, I really made that happen. I've achieved this on my own and now I'm attracting love that respects what I've done for myself. So I really love this reading for you. Um, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.